Well, hello all my Fluid Art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. I don't know who's here yet. I'm getting my chat up. Thank you all for joining me tonight. As you can see in the window, that's the piece I did last night, and I'll bring it in for a close-up as soon as I get my chat up. Ah, uh, let's see. There we go. There's the video. Now let me get the chat. I don't know who's here yet, so hello, hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, my 10-year-old laptop that I read my chat on takes forever to come up. Hi, Dina. Hi, Blair. I see you guys. Oops, top chat. I wish they would stop doing that. There we go. Got that fixed. Now, let me get the chat up so I can read it. And hello, Catherine. Let's see. Who else is here? I don't see anybody else. Okay. So, hi. <laughs> anyway, this is the piece I did last night. I think it turned out pretty good. I didn't get cells, but I wasn't trying for cells. I do not know how I got that wispiness right there. Hi, Megan. Or, excuse me. Hi, Megan. I am bad about remembering to do that, girl. I'm sorry. Anyway, this is the wispiness I got with this last night. I don't know what did it. I, I really don't. And you can see the gray background just a little bit in a couple places but that's okay hi julia good to see you here anyway this is the piece i did last night and i actually got three coasters done with the leftovers i got that one don't see sally here yet True. Hi, Sally. There she is. Thank you so much, Julia. This is another coaster I got. Sorry about the glare. Elisa tried to help me fix it. And it just... I ended up having to take down my black um, tablecloth that I had up there. And then I did this coaster, too. So I'm going to try to keep the glare off of it. And... Look at this, Sally. Look at all these drips you're going to get. Miss Sally takes my drips. Oh, thank you so much, Megan. Thank you, Dina. Thank you, Julia. Um, Sally, look at all these drips you're going to get, girly. Look at this. I got all kinds. Well, this is the little bit of extra I had that I just dumped. And then I got all these over here. So, Sally likes to take my drips, for those of you that don't know. Sally takes my drips, and she kind of, uh, <laughs> she kind of, uh, um, uses them in other projects. She glues them down on the, I know she glues them into the corner of frames. I just think it's so neat what she does. Okay, let me put this little bad boy back and bring my other tray over, because tonight was aptly titled Walmart Special because everything I'm going to use is done in Wal with stuff from Walmart. Anyway, um, here is my tray. I hope this doesn't, I hope it's not too bright, but nothing I can do about that because my tablecloth wouldn't behave itself. I am so sorry about that. I am still having problems with my allergies. Well, hello, Amber. I don't know where my other mods are at, but Blair's here. That's good of you, Blair. Thank you. I don't know if um, what Tish is doing. Because she doesn't go live until very late, very late tonight. But I'm going to make myself stay up for her live. 
Okay, anyway, this is, it's got a little bit of, I didn't get it quite as thick as I wanted it. This is one of their canvases that they sell in the craft department. It's a cradle board. It's pretty good. I mean, I put it down, and and it's a tiny bit on level, but that's okay. I mean, it's not that bad. And I have the unopened box, but I got it in another another um, cup too. Well, hello, Elisa. There she is. I ended up taking the whole thing down. I could. Elise, I couldn't get that tablecloth to stay up to save my soul. So y'all got to put up with the glare for a few more days until I can get my six foot tall boyfriend over here to put it up for me. Anyway, this is what I'm going to be using for my resin tonight. Okay. It's uh, 16, what is it? $16 for a pint, which is eight ounces of A and eight ounces of B. Now it doesn't have as long a working time as the um stone coat art coat hey you know what elisa the struggle is real okay okay this is side b um it said that i needed only th uh four out well about four ounces for this but i might mix up i might mix up five if i've got two and a half in here oh this is so yellow Oh, this is so yellow. Now, it's not always that yellow, I'll tell you that, okay? Oh, there she is. Hello, Miss Tish. Oh, okay. Yep, resin your rocks, honey. Get those rocks resined. Okay, yeah, this, this looks a little yellow, see? But... Hopefully it won't be that bad. You never know. Okay. Ah. I knew this was going to happen. Okay. Where's one of my little rubber circles? These things work good for this. Well, if I can get a grip. You know what? Hang on one second. I got something in the kitchen that I'll use. This ought to be easier. Let me, I know exactly where it's at because I use it. Oops. Grabbed a whole slew of papers with it too. I use this a lot for jars and stuff in the kitchen. So we'll see if... Let me try it on this one. We'll see how this works. And there she goes. So I guess I got to get another one just for my studio, huh? Okay. Never did pull all of, all of that off. Now, I'm not going to have a long working time. So when I get this mixed, I'm going to have to get the colors in. I will try to show you the colors. Okay, that's at two and a half. So this should go up to five. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Give me five. Come on. Ah. Come on, just need a little bit more. Don't be that way. Don't make me open a brand new bottle for a quarter of an ounce. See, resin does what it wants to do. It doesn't want to come out of the bottle. It's playing hide and go seek with me. Well, I'm going to seek out that last quarter ounce. Oh, come on. Oh, now it's coming out in drops. Come on. See, if I don't get enough resin in there with the hardener, 
it all it'll set up quicker well that's gonna have to do I'm just shy of um oh hi Brenda nice to see you here I'm just shy of uh five ounces but well and I can't remember what the uh, stir time is on this but I'm gonna do it for three minutes while I'm looking at the chat and you want to mix this is mixed just like all the other resin you know it's a one-to-one -one ratio um, you want to make sure you scrape the sides scrape the bottom scrape your stick off let me see if I can find the mix time on here uh, Ah, oh, mix time. It doesn't say, of course. It doesn't say it on here. I know it's got a, uh, it's got a, uh, sheet inside. And I'll put some of the paints out that I'm using. These are, they're sold in the craft department at, uh, uh, Walmart. And they are the, uh, super premium semi-gloss acrylic i forgot to because i have to get a magnifier out to read the little colors but i'll put the colors down below when i'm uh, done with the video of course i had to make a choice list the colors or go have a cigarette so guess what the colors aren't listed sorry <laughs> so all you non-smokers can go ahead and yell at me I didn't know that's why you named your stu your studio that, Megan. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, that's been two minutes. Well, minute and a half. I'm scraping my stick off. Yeah, it still looks a little yellow, but that's okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know that you smoked, Brenda. It's a bad habit, but it's the only bad habit I got besides... Well, chocolate's not a bad habit. You know, cho chocolate's, a, chocolate's a vice, but it's not a bad vice. Well, hello, Jason. Hello, sir. How are you this evening? Nice to see you. Okay, that's been two over two minutes now. You want to make sure that with this you do it the same way you do the um, uh, you do any other resin. You want to make sure. I mean, don't worry about bubbles. Your heat gun and your torch will get rid of those. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, it's not that bad right now out here, Tish. It's not that bad. Um, so anyway, you just want to make sure that you got it mixed up to where you don't see those little stringy parts in there. Hello, Evelyn. How are you this evening? I am so glad to see my squad here. This is so nice. Okay. Now, let me stand these bottles up. I have got three blues. Well, this one's kind of a turquoise aqua. That I'm going to mix. And yet, no, I didn't open the, the thing yet. The uh, foam in there. I want to bring my cups over here. I was going to save some for clear. But I don't need the clear. I use clear on a beach scene. When the wood is. When the brown wood is showing. But I painted this one white. So I didn't want to. Um worry about um the clear because this clear is going to be a little yellow anyway hopefully it doesn't look too yellow and that that's that's not the that's not the normal um um thing okay i ran out of resin so i'm going to have to move some from a couple cups But that's okay. I didn't divide it up evenly. 
and I still plan on making these um making a video on how I made these stir sticks that is silicone rubber and it's sold in almost every hardware store and I'm gonna do a video on how on how you do them I just gotta dig out the can because it's, it's in one of my uh, containers okay I need to get a little bit from each cup into one cup for my fifth color and I can't be fiddle farting around with these because it doesn't have a long work time okay let me get some sticks oops way too many sticks haha <laughs> okay I'm gonna start with the dark blue Well, at least this isn't that hard to open. Now, I do know with these kind of paints, you don't want to shake them. You want to stir them. Okay? So, that's what I'm doing. I'm stirring it. Oh, let me see. There we go. And you want to remember the 10% rule. I'm trying to figure out which one should be which color. Well, I think that's just about enough what's on the stick. You don't want to, um, you don't want to put, uh, more than 10% of this in there. Even less is better than that. And I can't be fiddle farting around because I got a short work time. Okay, let me see here. Let me see if I can turn it. No, nah, still too dark up there. Sorry about that. Like I said, it, the the uh, tablecloth, it fell on one corner and I was trying to move my lights around per Elisa's instructions and whatnot. And, oh, the whole thing just went to hell in a handbasket. Don't tell me that this one, oh, there we go. That's what the problem is. Okay. This one had some air in it. Because it's all kind of like crusty around the edge. But the paint inside's okay. Now I'm just basically coating the stick with the paint. If I don't... Oh man. I got all these dried paint bits around the top right here. Now the lid won't go back on right. Okay. That's good enough. I'll worry about it after the live. Oh, i got to mix that real quick. Oh, Sweet Pea's here. Hello, Sweet Pea. Good to see you, girl. I am so glad to see everybody. Okay. And I think once I'm done with this, I'm going to bring those two molds onto the uh, table, the two molds I did the other day, because I think I got enough, um, I think I got enough uh, resin in them, and I'm going to pop them out to see what they look like. Okay, that's my dark blue and my aqua. They look the same, their name really is, but I will put it below. <laughs> Can you wear shorts to work, Elisa? I didn't know I didn't know what kind of work you do. Okay, there we go. There's my light blue. Scrape the paint off the stick so it'll all get down in there. And you want to make sure you mix your paint up in there really good so it gets so you don't have any clear resin left in the cup well so far so good and this one doesn't feel warm yet <laughs> I say yet because who knows right yeah they're Waverly paints um I don't I forgot to look at the labels 
under a magnifying glass to find the color names, but I'll put those um, down. That's why tonight's um, that's why tonight's um, um, video is called a Walmart special because the resin came from Walmart, the board came from Walmart, even the spray paint I put on there came from Walmart, and um, these paints came from Walmart. So everything came from Walmart. Lid, lid, there it is. Okay, let me get this guy mixed in here. I normally don't do a brown for my beach scene, but I wanted to do more than just the uh, ocean colors for this one. I don't know how it's going to react with the heat gun. Okay, now I got a little bit of white because I am going to try to do some waves. Because I think if I can get all of this down quick enough, ooh, yeah, yucky. These, these lids are not the easiest in the world to peel off. Well, I do, I do too now, but I bought this a while back. And I was going to do it as a pre-recorded video, but I was cleaning up some stuff the other day and found it and said, Hey, when I do resin on Tuesday, I'm going to do this. Because tomorrow, it's going to be an afternoon one at, um, at uh, 4 o'clock, uh, 4 p.m. Uh, Central Time. And it's going to be a bloom pour. And tomorrow... I will be doing the bloom pour on a 24 inch round MDF board. Okay, hopefully none of these set up on me. Now I didn't put a clear coat down because I am gonna cover the whole thing with the color. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Let me move my little pyramids over here okay there we go okay of course I'm going to start with the darker blue at the top but I am going to mix them together so they kind of go to go together a little bit Well, so far it's not setting up in the cup, but what is it? It's only been huh, 10 minutes. Ha. Okay. Looks like you've got to mix this all over again because it looks like it's trying to separate a little bit. Okay. I want to get just a little bit of it up there in the, in the dark blue. I'm not going to worry about scraping it. I'm not going to take the time to scrape the cup. Okay, now I got some light blue. Get a little bit up here in the aqua. Okay, now the brown, of course... I don't want to really mix it too much with the blue, lighter blue that I put down. So, oh, hi, Ann. Nice to see you. Now I'm going to get to do my thing. Oh, I'm going to have to pop the air bubbles. But now I'm going to get to do my finger painting. Oh, I need a rag. I had to cut up more t-shirts today. The last bag of t-shirts I got was a bunch of kids t-shirts. So I'm only getting four rags per shirt. Okay. 
Okay, let me pop my little air bubbles. <laughs> Elisa, don't pick on her, okay? She does a lot of chatting, and I'm, I'm rushing on this one because I know it doesn't have a long working time. Yes, I blew out my dust boogers. I'm just popping all the little bubbles. <laughs> oh, are they giving you grief, Tish? For the other people that don't know, Tish is notorious about not putting gloves on, but she also deals mostly in acrylics and not resin. So that's why she, I, I mean, I've been known to do some acrylic painting without, oh, uh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, well, I forgot to tape the back. So it looks like I'm going to be sanding and peeling and everything. Okay, I just cleaned off the dark colors because I don't want to get a whole bunch of it down here in the blue. There we go. Oh, I'm getting blue down on my brown and I really didn't want that. looks pretty it's not bad for acrylic paint just trying to even it out a little bit the color because I can see a little bit of the white right there and I need to get just a little bit more resin over here it's starting to get a little stringy oh well such is life. Okay, I'm going to do one big line right here at the shoreline. Well, yeah, I'm going to have some dots in my ways. <laughs> that is so true, Amber. That is so true. Okay, first I'm going to go over it and just heat it up a little bit before I turn on the high air. I will tell you something, this white looks a little off-white to me, but nothing I can do about that. Okay, let's see if I can get some waves. Don't ever mark your videos as made for kids, Tish. Okay, well, oops. I got a bubble right there. Huh, I think. Hmm. 
Wait a minute. Maybe I better use my torch on that. Where is my torch that has the cloth? <laughs> of course, it's probably fallen to the ground somewhere, so I'll use this one. I'm just going over it and popping some air bubbles I see. Well, do you think it needs more white or do you think it's um it's done? I mean, don't want to do a whole lot. Do want to get a well, now it's I don't know. What do you ladies think? Does it look like... Well, it looks like a beach. And I'm going to tell you something. For the price of it, it's not that bad. I mean, you know, one of these bottles costs $2. Although some of them have little problems with the, with the lids. Not going back on. Let me see if I can wipe that off. Um, now I'm going to tell you something, the resin, there's 16 ounces of resin in there. Oh, Sally, you like the drips better than the painting. Admit it, woman. Um, there is 16 ounces of resin in there, so that's about a dollar, um, uh, ounce of resin, okay? And I don't think... That the stone coat is quite that high. I don't know if anybody can do the math. Um, you figure 60, well, a gallon is how many? 20, 128 ounces, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm going to give you a little bit of white next to it. How's that, Sally? Ha <laughs> ha. Because I don't think I need that white up there. And I don't have anything to really pour the white on. So I'm going to give you a little white beachy scene right here. Because I don't think, I think it's level. It doesn't look like it's shifting. Okay. So, I am going to undo some molds let me move move all this because I don't want to get resin on the molds that are done don't need that put in there I will leave it out over here for now if it starts to look like it's going to drip I'm going to um Oh my God, sorry, I didn't realize how dark it was up there. Um, okay, do I have a tray that I can bring up here? No, nope, that's got a paper on it. Wait, let me, let me just put a piece of parchment paper down so it's not completely black right here. Of course, it's gonna roll. Not nice. There we go. There, it's not completely black. Okay. These are the molds I did. Um, well, I, I ended up setting it in some resin on the uh, table. So now, maybe I want to bring it just a little closer. Basically, I'm just going to pull the mold away carefully. Because these molds are supposed to release real easy. There we go. Because the one I'm really, really 
Thank you so much, sweet pea. Kisses. What's that kisses from Doris thing? I you lost me, Tish. Okay. Trying to be very, very careful so I don't rip the mold. You can do this to separate it a little bit on the inside. Mm. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I'm in love with it. I don't know which side should be the front side and which side should be the back. These are supposed to be Packers colors. But that, go that, that, that yellow does not look like... This yellow does not look like the Packer yellow. My boyfriend looked at the at the Packer piece when he was here. He said, no, that's not Packer colors. It's like, well, what do you know? <laughs> he, sh he should know he's a Packer uh, fan. Although he was so upset with what that they lost their game the other night. Okay, this for some reason is sticking here. You don't want to pull too hard. I don't want to have to get out an exacto knife, but I might have to. That's why it's very important that you try to use as little heat as possible when you're doing these. So, let me see. I pulled a little, little tiny bit of the rubber away right there. Okay. Is uh, Tish here yet? The uh, uh, nap time? Because she was interested in the other one. Okay. See, this is what happens when you use too much heat. It, the resin will stick to the silicone. And you got to be very careful. But these, these molds are not that much, so... If I happen to tear one, see like I'm tearing that one right there and I don't want to do that. If you happen to tear it, it's not that much. It's not like those what first ones I had seen. Oh, nap time. Oh, there you are, Tish. You wanted to see how the other one, okay, um... How the uh, the puzzle one, the the interlocking one worked. Ah, come on, there we go. I don't want to rip it too hard. You can see how it sticks to the side right there. Ah, there we go. Okay. I don't know which side was which. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to match up or not. I'm not sure I'm putting it back together the way it was in here. Come on. Very gently. hate to make y'all wait, but I don't want to tear it. Come on. Okay, that one I'm going to work on later. Hopefully this one doesn't give me a fit. <laughs> well, as far as I can see, 
I'm not having a problem with this with this side. Now, I do not know if I'm going to have to file anything down to get them to fit. Oh, look, it fit. <laughs> yeah, it, depending on what you're on, if you're on a phone, I think it's the three dots and it says go to channel. Um, and on a computer, if you click on her photo, um, Megan, it, it, um, that's the way it goes. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, that one fit together. Look at this, Tish. Look at this. It's all going together. I must not have, I don't know what it is with that one over there, why it's giving me a fit coming out that last uh, one from the Packer coasters okay now let's see come on oh my god it's all fit together I love it I love it I love it Yes, um, I think I thought I put the link down. If if this is what you're looking for, um, um, it, when you said they have them on Amazon, they have these molds on Amazon. That's where I got them from, and I know I put a link down when I was pouring them, and I'll put another link down. Oh, look at that! Look at that! How neat! got to lift it straight up I do have a couple little tiny bits oh my god and I got another one too that I haven't poured in yet this is this is just so neat lesson here don't um, don't get the the resin all over the place or you're going to have a lot of cleaning to do okay i am absolutely in love with this one i cannot wait to try the other one okay let me see here come on ah it's trying to tear i don't want to Use a knife, though, because that usually cuts the, through the rubber. Ah, there we go. Got that little section. Okay, now what? what is stuck over here? Something is stuck right there. Something is stuck. It's almost like there's an edge right there that went inside the resin. It's just that little tiny section. Come on. Don't give me fits. See, I, advantages of having long fingernails. Haha. <laughs> Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, I got this so mismatched, it's not even funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait a minute, let me see now. I don't know if I got those right or not. Huh. Okay. Let me try it this way. Now, this one's like a puzzle, too. Ha <laughs> ha. I think this is the way it went. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, 
Oh, it melted in. Okay. Well, to tell you the truth, if you can see it right there, there's a little rough spot. And that's, and now I got all this resin on the back I get to peel off. <laughs> oh, well, that's from trying to put it in my drips. Drips I had to sacrifice, Sally. Well, thanks for telling me that, Megan. I probably did do too much heat. But I can always take a Q-tip. I've seen people do this before. Take a Q-tip and kind of just run it around the edge with some silicone on it. Just a really super, super light coating of it. And shouldn't have a problem with the edges. Because it doesn't look like there's a lip, like there's a lip there. So, yeah, I probably just got it too hot. Because I remember how I put, you guys didn't see me do this, but the, uh. <laughs> oh, hi, Gina. I didn't see you come in. I am so sorry. Um, this was gold and white that I put on the back. And the thing with this one was, um, I just poured some gold, and that's probably where I heated it up too much. I poured in the gold and then poured in the white, and then I was trying to do torch and tilt, but it wasn't doing a torch and tilt. It was basically just, I was trying to get it to fill in the little holes, too. So, did anybody come in after I finish the piece. Do you want me to show the piece again? Because, here, let me bring it over. Let me bring it up for its little close-up. I am so happy with this, I swear. And look at that, Sally. Look at all that. Oh, man, look at that big old drip. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm not a Packers fan either, Tish. But I do, I do them in the colors for where I'm at because that's going to sell. You know. You know, I've done other team colors like <coughs> Dallas Cowboys. And I hope there's no Dallas Cowboy fans in here, but I've never been a fan of theirs. Used to be a Redskins fan, but that was before Baltimore got the Ravens. And when we got the Ravens, because I lived there when we got the Ravens. But I'm a big football nut. I was my dad's first child, and I wasn't a boy, so... He ended up calling me Junior, the dog Junior, the car Junior. So I became I became a little tomboy growing up because he didn't have a boy. Oh man, look at this. Look at all this stuff on the back. So, you know what? I don't want to keep you all much longer. Thank you all for coming in. Tomorrow, I'm going live at 4 p.m. Central Time. And I will be doing a bloom pour but i'm going to be doing the biggest one i've ever done i'm going to be doing a 24 inch round it's i'm not going to blow on that believe me it's going to be a swipe there's no way that i can blow on that but i want to thank you all for coming out i love the resin right out of you guys uh i hope to see you all tomorrow um, don't forget to smash that thumbs up on your way out if you haven't yet. Um, tell your friends about me. You know, tell them, tell them, go, hey, come watch the grandma do resin. I am a grandma. I got six ki six grandkids, so I am a grandma. Um, and I will be going live, uh, after today. I got 18 more days. And on February 8th, on that live, I will be going, um, I will be doing a live fire sale. Um, selling off a lot of my practice pieces from the bloom pours that didn't turn out good. Thank you all for showing up. 
I love the resin right out of you guys. And I guess I can put this down so I can wave. All I can say is, oh, oh, hi, Clara. <laughs> A little late, honey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but, uh, Clara, I am going live tomorrow at um, 4 o'clock, 4 p.m. if you got time. Um, okay. Um, anyway, oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, all I can say to all my squad is bye for now. Love you guys.